Why, hello, and thank you all for tuning in to Medicating with Sound. What's going on, y'alls? What you doing? You want to smoke a ripper with me? I think that's a fantastical idea. A fantastical idea to smoke rippers together. <laughs> I love bacon! Okay. I have assembled quite a smoking apparatus. First, we're working with the Tower of Power. This is like got a half gallon of water here at least. And then we're working with the 11 arm and the integrated ice pinch bowl from the 420 armory. And we're also working with some pineapple expresses express but we're getting a little low on the pineapple express we're getting a little bit low on the pineapple express that's okay it's the season all kinds of new crazy weeds are coming out right now everybody's harvesting everybody's harvesting it's harvest season y'all so what we were going to do here is put some of this beautiful, just incredible, incredible um, Pineapple Express. If you guys have an opportunity to try Pineapple Express, you're going to want to try it. Bam! Boom! Boom! Yep, it's beautiful. It really is, you guys. You definitely want to try some of this if you get your if you get your hands on some. If he says, oh, I got some OG Kush or some pineapple express, you say, oh, I'll take the pineapple. Okay, so we turn off the focus. All right, like a professional. You guys, are you ready? Well, let's do this. Those pants. Fatty bong rips through the tower of power. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> there was a freaking whiteout, man. on purpose you guys this wasn't something I intentionally planned but it just kind of ended up that way um, for some reason <coughs> Oreos have been keep coming up in blogs lately and I'm not like this Oreo dude I'm a stoner snack dude and Oreos just so happen to come in this category but it's the time of year I think Oreos goes nuts though with all the different flavors during Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, Kwanzaa, uh, Hanukkah, I don't know. But they got all kinds of crazy flavors all through this period. And I'm the guy to try them all. Yes. So, I know these ones get talked mad crap on the internet on them. Because, I don't know, dude. They, they talk mad shit about these on the internet. Like, they're made from baby seals or or baby placentia or something. I don't know. They have to kill baby seals to make them or something. I don't know. No, it's, it has nothing to do like that. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, just because they're like, I don't know. Whoa. Mm, medication. 
successfully administer, admi a administered. Okay, so I got them, and I've been wanting to try these. There's one other one that I really, really want to try, and I haven't been able to get them yet, but I will this season, hopefully. But this is the second one that I wanted, the second most one I've wanted to try. And I have them right here. It's not like it's a surprise because it's in the title. I got them! Pumpkin Spice Oreos. Limited edition. Okay, so on the internet they talk mad smack about these just because they're, I don't know. They're, they're, I keep saying I don't know like I'm gonna, uh, because they're like just pure street chemicals. But aren't all or but aren't all Oreos just straight chemicals? Okay, look at the color of, of, of that. Doesn't that look like a nice, like, the, you know, a bright, bright orange of, like, the inside of a pumpkin? And then you open it. They're a lot darker. They look like the outside. Oh, my God. Whoa. They're kind of dark. Can you Can you guys see that? Yeah, look, they're kind of dark. They're definitely darker than what the package shows them to be. I wonder if these are stale like last year's. Okay, well, let's break it open and see if the color is different on the inside than it is on the out. No! The color is very consistent all the way through, so that would make, that would make me think that uh, that's the color they are. Well, it tastes, or it smells very pumpkin-y. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. It does smell very pumpkin-y. Oh. Oh, that does. It smells pretty good. I mean, yes, for sure, yes. They're good. Okay. Yeah. I approve. I make sure that I give you guys a thorough... I mean, I don't want to give you no half-ass review here. Um, yeah. They're good. I like them. I like them seasonally. This isn't something I'd buy all year. This is something I'd get one of them. And, you know, a, a, a package of these, I'll eat them in two or three weeks. So that's enough for me. But what I did want to do is I wanted to see where the flavor is coming from. Okay, so this is just like a plain wafer, and then it's like a pumpkin frosting or cream. And then, um, oh, there you go, pumpkin spice cream. Okay, well, I know pretty good. I would suggest them. I have to dust them way over those peanut butter ones. I wish those peanut butter ones taste more like Nutter Butters, but... And, do you guys know a pumpkin is a squash? So basically, these are squash-flavored Oreos. Doesn't that sound delicious? A pumpkin is, is a squash. Mm-hmm. So we eat squash pie. Doesn't that sound yummy? Mm. And it's uh, two cookies. Just like the other ones. Two cookies. So I can't have any more. That's it. I'm at my limit. Unfortunately, I eat two cookies six times a day. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You know, we did some of that Pineapple Express. 
we're getting low on the top shelf, you guys. Let me get this back on. Oh, the autofocus is on. Bam. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, blasted. Delicious, delicious blastedness. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, I wish you were here, because if you were, you would smoke that right there. Doesn't that look nice? <coughs> mm. And then, you could eat some punk of spice cookies with me. Okay. I've been making Rick Simpson oil lately, too. Kind of cool. All right, you guys following along? Go ahead and light up. This one, it's got a freaking half gallon of water in it, man. I mean, it takes a while to, uh, to, for, to dirty this one. There's just so much goddamn water in it. But trust, I ain't complaining now. I'm just letting you know. Huh. Okay, so, definitely, two thumbs up. Not something I'd always get, but if you're in the store and you see them, two thumbs up from Zandron. And uh, I think that's all we got for today. What are you going to be for Halloween? I know what I'm going to be. I'm going to be stoned. <laughs> all right, that's all I got for you guys. Wow. Dude, those big bongs just make you... Which I like. Very nice. Very nice in my head part. All right. Please! I'm hungry! Where's the button? There. <laughs>